Ksenia Mie Bergilovsky, it's uh, February 18th now, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I've just checked out uh, out of uh, the IHG motel that was uh, charging me extraordinary amount of money for effectively spying on me. Um, the next reservation I held with one of the IHG hotels was declined for whatever reason, for whatever made up policy reason that the front desk clerk uh, felt like coming up with. Uh, so the next one uh, that I decided to call was the Navatel Hotel. And again, I am uh, under no delusion right now that uh, I am being managed. My whole life was managed. Uh, my father was taken out of the family. All of uh, uh, my options to lead a normal life uh, were taken away from me because I, A, I was a girl. B, I was what considered to be overweight. And C, my mother was destitute and from... Uh, uh, not the blue blood lineage, so to speak. So I was destined for the uh, life of a fat nurse to be humiliated and uh, treated in uh, all sorts of derogatory ways. So when I called the Novotel Hotel here in Vaughan, Ontario, obviously the, whoever is uh, managing the online presence and availabilities of residential settings, availabilities of properties, availabilities of social connections, availabilities of workplaces, etc., etc., etc. Whoever is deciding, one lives and another one dies. So those folks behind the scene obviously made it look like there is only one room left at the hotel and the one room here that was left for me because I was denied all other options under whatever bullshit policy pretenses was this one in Novotel Hotel. Look at the wonderful view I got here look at the view this is wonderful specifically for me probably the garbage dumps were uh brought for me to uh contemplate sort of thing okay that uh th that's my life that's my life i'm uh, uh was burned from uh, the day i was born okay so this this is uh uh, the view from the room, okay, the only one left behind after my multiple uh, requests to all of the hotels that I made the reservations with that no adjoining rooms, please. Of course, there is an adjoining room in this room with a view to garbage dumps with an adjoining room. And of course, there is a, some sort of uh, damage to bathtub. Okay, a chip in the bathtub. So under the what weight uh, restrictions, it will uh, flourish into a full-blown uh, crack in the tub. Okay, so this is the state of the tub at four o'clock on the 18th. And this is the only room left in the entire hotel for me to occupy. Of course, with an adjoining uh, room and of course with a view to dumpsters of course it's probably because i am from uh whatever place i i i had a uh, disfortune to be born in and uh, under uh all the rest of the discriminatory discriminatory conditions that i lived here for the past 18 months okay uh a, being denied reproductive rights, being denied social settings, workplaces, being denied life, uh, really in accumulation of all of the experiences. Um, I was denied life. I was targeted for manslaughter. My mother was slaughtered via whatever infection of uh, whichever sexually transmitted disease, syphilis or, and or whatever other diseases, okay? And so I was uh, predestined for the life of a fat nurse to be sort of uh, uh, bullied around and uh, be thrown uh, the leftovers at the, the pennies and the cents and the dumpsters and the leftovers. Oh, one more, one more thing I've forgotten. So the view, the adjoining uh, uh, door, of course, of course, the crack in the bathtub. God forbid under my weight it's gonna crack uh, even further. God forbid I'm gonna, uh, uh, I don't know, go over 50 kilos of uh, <clears throat> 
accepted uh, reproductive weight and the crumbs on the uh, uh, safe here for me to uh, contemplate and think through my options in this life, okay? Yay!